Hola, good morning. Como esta? How are you? Hey, you know Spanish. <laughs> How are we doing this morning? Great holiday weekend celebrating the 4th of July. Uh, all my, neighbor, my neighbors, literally, I kid you not, probably blew up about $10,000 worth of fireworks last night. I spent 20 minutes on the front porch watching them. I was like, man, I could use some of that money. They were good ones, yeah. They were probably about 10 miles away, so when I can see them from five miles away, it's a miracle. You guys ready to praise and worship this morning? Yeah. All right. Stand up. Because you all sing better standing up, right? Yes. Well, you may not think we so, but tell. we can hear you when uh, you all stand up. If you can't stand up, that's okay. Ready? Hold on. Okay, hold on. I got to speak five more minutes because Jimmy's getting ready. He didn't have a half hour. There you go. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Sing it out. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of
Amen. Uh, welcome. Glad you're here this morning. If it's your first time, we're really glad uh, to, uh, to welcome you. This is going to be mostly a musical morning. I've got a few things uh, to, uh, to say, and then we'll dismiss the kids to, uh, to go to the Children's Ministry Kids Connect. So uh, Lita and I are uh, glad to be here this morning, but we are not supposed to be here. Uh, back, in, back in March, uh, I was asked to officiate uh, at a memorial service today that had been on a shady spot on the Guadalupe River uh, over in Hunt, Texas. And the deceased uh, was a longtime friend, and uh, with his family, uh, a very faithful member of the church that we served in Marin County, uh, California. His name was Larry, and he and Jan showed up at our church in 1979 as first-time attendees. And after the worship service, he came up to me and he said, I notice you are wearing boots. And I noticed that he was wearing boots. Native sons of Texas, we were. And that started a wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, friend friendship. But the, um, uh, the service was part of a family reunion that they have on the river every year on the Sunday nearest the 4th of July, and it's always something the family and friends have looked forward to. It was canceled abruptly uh, because his widow and his daughter uh, experienced two flight cancellations. It's the smoke, it's the fire it's coming down uh, from mostly from Canada and coming up from Mexico. So the widow sat in the airport in San Francisco Wednesday night 
to hear that the flight was canceled. Went back with her daughter on Thursday night. The flight uh, was, was canceled. So the only hope was to get here this morning uh, on a flight that had two airplane changes. It was just not physically impossible. So Lita and I got up and drove over this morning uh, to be with our uh, church family. Mac uh, McLeod, the Western Heritage uh, Consultant for the Baptist General Convention of Texas, was scheduled uh, weeks and weeks ago to be uh, our, our preacher today. Um, and he and Cindy had also been planning to provide uh, the music. So thank you to our praise team that will be leading us uh, in the service this, this morning. Mac and Cindy McLeod learned uh, last Saturday, Saturday that their youngest daughter, a U.S. Marine recruit, uh, could get a pass for this weekend prior to, be assigned, uh, prior to being assigned to Camp Pendleton. And from Camp Pendleton, she could have been sent anywhere in the world. So it was very clear to them and clear to the, the, the family that they would probably not see her for a year. And so Mac uh, asked if, if he could reschedule with us. And so Mac and I are looking uh, for a date uh, for him to come. And I, I shared that news at a joint meeting of the transition team and the pastor search team this past uh, Monday. And the consensus was to ask our praise team uh, this morning to lead us in music and scripture and prayer. And I um, called yesterday and asked if I could just have a few minutes to share some thoughts and prayers. So those of you, and I, I, know it's, I know some people do count every page that I turn on Sunday, wondering how long I'm going to speak. I know some do that. So this morning, it's three pages. That's all. That's all. And, and that was page number one. So um, I just have maybe one announcement, other than the fact that it's an arena day uh, for us. Not today. Not today. Holiday. All right. Okay. It is not an arena day today. So um, in conversations that, that we've been having about adopting a new set, set of bylaws, we all wanted to make sure that the proposed bylaws met, met Texas codes and laws, and we've been assured that they do. We also wanted to make sure they're supported by biblical theology. And our interim uh, teaching pastor, Dr. Adam Wynn, who's professor of New Testament at the University of Mary Hardin Baylor, has ably addressed that, that issue in a six-page uh, paper that you'll find on the back table if you're interested and that you, some of you maybe will have already received it in an email. So we started uh, this uh, discussion four weeks ago and there have been uh, four church family meetings for discussion and clarification. We agreed that there would be a business meeting after worship next Sunday, at which time we will vote in the good old-fashioned Baptist way. And the question will be to continue under our current bylaws or to adopt the set that has been proposed. That's the announcements for the day. Hear the word of the Lord from Matthew 22, 15 to 22. And then the Pharisees met together to plot how to trap Jesus into saying something for which he could be arrested. And they sent some of their disciples, along with the supporters of Herod, Romans, to meet with him. Teacher, they said, we know how honest you are. You teach the way of God truthfully. You are impartial and you don't play favorites. Now tell us what you think about this. Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus knew their evil motives. You hypocrites, he said, why are you trying to trap me? Here, show me the coin that is used for taxes. And when they handed him a Roman coin, he asked, whose picture and title are stamped on it? Caesar's, they replied. Well then, he said, give to Caesar, Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God. So you know, bylaws are a church giving to Caesar, the government, that which belongs to the government. Bylaws guide us in a secular way 
but the Bible guides us in a spiritual way, which is much more important, isn't it? There is nothing wrong with love of country. I grew up with a father uh, who was a World War II veteran. I saw him one week from the time I was born until I was three years old. So I grew up with an appropriate sense of being a good citizen of the United States of America. In Cisco, Texas, my junior year in high school, I was in Boy Scout Troop 101, senior patrol leader. Two years of Army ROTC uh, in, in university, and um, this, this, is, this is my medal. This is a medal for expert marksmanship. Does that surprise you? That, uh, never figured that, did you? Never thought, never thought that. For six years, I served as a GS-11 with the Department of the Army on the Presidio in San Francisco. I considered it uh, a service to my country during the intense years of the Vietnam War. There is nothing wrong with love of country. But our first allegiance is to the kingdom of God. We are first and foremost pledged to the king of glory. And we are here this morning in music and in prayer to honor the one whose kingdom has no end. Kings and kingdoms will all pass away. But there is something about that name. And so from Philippians in the second chapter, though he was God, speaking of Jesus, fully God and fully human, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a servant and was born as a human being. Appearing in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore, God elevated him to the place of highest honor and gave him the name above all names, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue declare that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So let us give praise to our God and to our Christ, for he shall reign forever and ever. And let us give thanks that we live in a country that lets us worship him freely. The t-shirt says, this shirt, this shirt is illegal in 51 countries. In 51 countries, a person can be executed or severely punished for displaying a cross. Let us give thanks for the freedom that we are afforded in this country. I'm going to share a prayer with you from uh, the prayers for a domestic uh, church. So let us pray with joyful hearts, uplifted in gratitude. We rejoice in the freedom with which each of us has been given. We are a free people since we have come forth from the God of freedom. We are a free people because we have worked and some have died for us to remain free of all that threatens us or threatens our freedom. We are filled with thanksgiving that you, our Redeemer, have shown us how we might be free in spirit and in heart as well as in body. As you directed your servant Moses to lead your children Israel from slavery, from the oppression of Egypt, so continue to direct us that we may stay free from the oppression of evil, of greed, and of the lust for power over others. And as free sons and daughters of God, may the lamp of truth burn brightly in our homes and in each of our hearts. As brothers and sisters of Jesus, may we be faithful as was he to the wondrous freedom of all the children of light and be ever grateful for the pleasures of liberty. May our profound reverence for truth 
as piercing as a sword, and ever liberating, be our burning torch of freedom and our shield against enslavement to anyone or anything. Blessed are you, Lord our God, who has made us free persons. Amen. And we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thanks for finding a chord to that because I obviously couldn't find the note to even start on. Children are dismissed uh, to go to Kids Connect and we'll continue to praise God. y'all have a seat. What? <laughs> Not you.
a mighty strong man, but I can't even walk without you holding my hand. Oh, I can't even walk without you holding my hand.
I'm going to have to work out or something, that was tough. <laughs> hey, it's 4th of July weekend. Can I see everybody who has served either in the military, as a firefighter, as a police officer? Who else am I missing? Paramedics, thank you very much. Can you all stand up? God bless you guys. We all do appreciate you, and we thank you for the freedom that we get to enjoy because of y'all. Jesus 
Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, 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 let it shine. two more hours <laughs> only 23 more songs yeah. you all right. my fingers hurt there's uh, something we used to have in the bulletin and, and it's, I don't know if it's still in there but I just want you guys to know who's up here when, when you guys come in and you see us some of you know us some of us you don't but I'm gonna go from this side Kimberly on the violin whoop, whoop. giving us that sweet sweet string sound thank you Janice <laughs> vocals Randy B, the best guitarist on that side of the stage. I am. And Heather. Yay. Heather is new to us. She has a combination of the Holy Spirit and a wonderful voice, and we appreciate that. And she can play the little thingy. And that's we're still working on that. Yeah. That's okay. And this is Jimmy Young. Yay! Oh. Yay, Jimmy! <laughs> Um, so, I do want to say one thing, though. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I know. Oh, we're going to be here until 1 o'clock. Go ahead. My wife found a joke that she could actually tell. So, I'm going to tell it for her, okay? Just because, you know, I don't mind looking stupid. What is another name for an iPhone charger? Ah, apple juice. <laughs> Come on, that was good. <laughs> Thank you. I apologize to everybody who's new who's never been here before. Gosh. The pastor referred to, in, when he was in his comments, in his remarks, uh, the psalmist. So as you know, <laughs> there's a book of Psalms, and it is... It's, it's, it's songs. It, you know, people have taken this, these words and made a song. They're, it's a beautiful, beautiful book of the Bible. Um, this next song is taken directly from Psalm 51, verse 9. So. Hide your face from my sins And cover my iniquity Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Don't cast me away from your presence. Don't take your spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Restore to me the wonders of your love. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Restore to me. Restore to me. Hide your face from my sins and cover my iniquities create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me don't cast me away from your presence 
Take your spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Restore to me the wonders of your love. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Restore to me. Restore to me. Deliver me from this hour of darkness. Through the pain and the brokenness. I will sing of your love and kindness. And of your Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Me, restore to me, restore to me the joy of your salvation. Restore to me the wonders of your love. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Restore to me, restore to me.
said it's only 11.30, we gotta hurry up. Can you go to the last song, Joe, or Joey?
is our God. Thank you guys for coming today. I appreciate the singing with us. I'm sure the devil went, what? Which is okay, because God went, wow. All right, you guys have a great weekend. Have a safe holiday weekend. God bless you and keep you, and we'll see you next week. Amen.